Okay, folks, welcome once again. In this video, we're going to cover installing Oracle SQL Developer on Windows 10. A few words about Oracle SQL Developer. It is basically a programming tool that's used to connect to an Oracle database uh, and transmit mainly SQL statements from your desktop to an Oracle database, and then you can get the results back. Uh, there are many other things that SQL Developer can do. It has some modeling tools built in. It has data mining tools, a bunch of other things. Uh, but this is what it is mostly used for, basically sending SQL statements and receiving a reply. Uh, so here's basically what it would look like. Here's a user sitting at their Windows desktop or on their Mac. Uh, you run the SQL Developer software, and this makes a connection over the network to an Oracle database server. That database server could be on your local area network, it could be up in the cloud, uh, it could be somewhere else in your organization. So the user writes some SQL code, submits it or transmits it, goes over the network, the database server gets it, runs the SQL code or runs the transaction, packages up the results and sends those results back to SQL Developer where you can see them. SQL Developer has other tools that let you import and export data from Oracle, a bunch of other, other functionality. The other nice thing about SQL Developer is that it is a Java program. Um, it basically doesn't need any installer. You just download SQL Developer program, unzip it, and you can go ahead and run it right away. So there's no installer, there's nothing to, to really fuss about. On Windows, what I like to do is to just make a directory called SQL Developer on the C drive. So let me go ahead and do that right now. I'm going to run the Windows File Explorer, and I will go to my uh, local disk here on the C drive. I'm going to right click and choose New Folder, and we'll just call this SQL Developer. All right, that's it, no muss, no fuss, just go ahead and put a SQL developer folder there. The next thing we can do is we can go to the website for Oracle SQL developer. I'm gonna use Google Chrome to do this. You can really use any web browser you like. Paste that in. And here we have the main Oracle SQL developer page. If you can't find this page or it doesn't exist, just Google uh, Oracle SQL Developer or Oracle SQL Developer Download and you should get to the same place. Notice there's a bunch of other tools that are also available. We're just gonna click here on the SQL Developer button. And the very first uh, thing that comes up is the uh, Windows Download. Uh, I'll just point out that currently as of uh, the middle of August here, the latest version of SQL Developer is version 20. You might see a slightly newer version if you are uh, viewing this video a few months from now. It's fine. The, the differences in versions are fairly minor, uh, especially if mostly what you want to do is just import and export data from Oracle and, and run some uh, SQL statements. So the one that we're going to work with here, we want to make sure we get the 64-bit edition. And if it has the JDK built in, it's even better because then we know for sure it's going to work. We won't have to worry about what Java development kit we have downloaded or installed. So I'm just going to go ahead right away and click this download button. The first thing that pops up is the Oracle license agreement. We're going to agree to that and then we'll click the green download button. In order to download any software from Oracle, you need an oracle.com account. If you don't have an Oracle account, you can click here on this create account button. Uh, it just takes you through a few steps. It's very typical for any website, your name, your, your email address, uh, maybe a few other details, and then it will verify the account. Once you have that created, then you can come back and just supply your credentials here. I'll just type mine in, and then as soon as that goes in, it should begin the download. There it is. All right, so while that's downloading, I'm going to pause my recording. I'll be back in a minute.
Okay, so it finished downloading. I'm just gonna show it in my downloads folder here. And again, notice that it's really just a zip file that we've downloaded here. We need to decompress or uncompress or unzip, <coughs> excuse me, this file. So I'm gonna right click on it and I'll use the Windows Extract All. If you have a like WinRAR or 7-Zip, you could use that also, but Extract All works just fine. Now it's gonna ask me for a destination folder. And what I'm gonna choose here is I'm just gonna go into the root of the C drive. The reason for this is that when it unzips, it's gonna put everything into the SQL developer folder. So let's go ahead and extract that. While this is extracting, I'll just make a couple of other points on the uh, Windows um, File Explorer. The reason why I knew it was a zip file is because under the view menu, I have this option here to check, uh, check it for file name extensions. So that's how I see that it is a .zip file. So I just wanted to, to point that out. All right, we're almost done. Take just a few more minutes here, a few more seconds. Okay, great. So it's basically unzipped or extracted. Now I can go back to File Explorer, and I can see that all of the files are here. All right. In order to run SQL Developer, I can just go to my C drive, go into the SQL Developer folder, and double click on SQL Developer.exe. Again, this is where having that file extension is, is very handy. So SQL Developer will start running here. <clears throat> it may prompt me for importing settings or something like that. Um, we don't really need to do that. Let's see. Okay, so I didn't get a prompt. The first time you run it, it might prompt you to import some settings. You can just say no to that prompt. And it looks like we are all set up. So if you want, you can explore some of the tutorials and things like that. Uh, but for the most part, really, it's just going to be making a connection to a database. And to do that, we're going to click on the green plus sign. I'm not going to give the details in this video. We'll do that in, a, in another video. But this is how we'll create a new connection to our database server. So again, it's just clicking that, uh, that green plus sign. Uh, one last comment, which I neglected to mention before, is that SQL Developer is really, again, it's just a tool. It doesn't store any data. There's no data stored in this. We're gonna use it to essentially make a connection to a database that's somewhere else, a database server that is, is somewhere else. So we'll need to kind of um, get used to that. Uh, and again, we'll just create a new connection with the green plus sign. I'm gonna cover that in another video. To get out of SQL Developer, we just pull down the file menu and choose exit. And we are done. Okay, so I can close this up. I don't need this in my downloads folder, so I can just uh, delete this. We're all done, and that's it. That's really all there is to it. Hope to see you all in the next video.